What's up everyone, this is George from Your Local Musician and today what I'm going to talk about is how to add markers to your sessions in Logic Pro X so that your beats are more structured for your customers. So this especially applies if you are selling beats online. This is something that I've done for quite a while and it's always something that I've been quite well complimented on because when an artist buys beats from me when I add the um, uh, markers to these sessions and then export them as, as WAV files, which is ultimately the file that they're gonna uh, download when they purchase the beat, and they import it into their session, especially if this is Logic. I'm not 100% sure if this works on um, other, uh, other doors, like when you're importing the audio into other doors. I'm pretty sure that it would, but if you are recording in Logic, when you uh, insert this uh, WAV file, into the session, the um, markers actually come along with it, as well as obviously the um, tempo information um, imports as well. And um, with these markers, obviously you'll map out the structure of your beat by intro, verse, chorus one, bridge, and so forth. And um, it does give a good uh, visual representation for obviously the artist that has bought your beat or the engineer that is recording the artist to your beat. Now generally you should be able to hear this stuff just by just just by listening to it, but not everyone's got the greatest ear in the world. It just does help to have a visual representation there, just so that their session um, flows nice and easy. Just you know, it doesn't take much out of your day to do it. So we've got this beat, and we want to structure it out. And um, firstly, let's uh, zoom out a bit of the session. So there we are, this is a complete beat. And I wanna structure this out so um, that it's nice and easy for an engineer to see and for an artist to see where I intend in this beat to be the intro, verse, chorus, and so forth. Um, by giving it's them nice and easy something for to an look at, which is a marker. So firstly, what we do I is hit this, this little arrow sign up here. So as you can see right now, it's pointing down. We want to make sure that it's pointing up. And we've got this, um, so this little bit here that says marker. We want to hit that plus here, button. So as you can see right now, it's pointing down. And there's our first sure marker. Now, this marker, the easiest way to do it is obviously to just drag this along and 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 snap and it to the point where you now, want to add this marker, the, the, the marker. To do is to um, just drag so if we had it at the start here, and, we can cl and, double click. And we can double click on it. Highlight the marker, um, so if we marker had it at the name. Here, we and we're just going to type in click. what we, we intend this bit of the beat to actually be. So this um, is the intro. Highlight the marker name. And we're just going to type in what we intend this bit of the beat to actually be. So this is the intro. This bit is obviously the very start of the verse. So I'm going to hit that plus button. It says marker two. So I'm going to double click, and highlight, and take out that take out that dummy text. Obviously, add verse one. It says marker two. So I'm going to double click, highlight, take out. And that, take you can out probably that start to see text. what's going to happen next. Add verse one. This is quite obviously chorus one. And Start to chorus see one. Next. So chorus one lasts for this amount this of bars, obviously and then obviously this, one. and so forth, is chorus one. Verse two. Chorus one lasts for this amount of bars, and obviously this. Do it again. Plus so button. Is verse two. Chorus two. And again, we've got this tiny little bridge section right here. Chorus two. Again, and we've got this tiny and little bridge section right here. One last final time for chorus again three slash and outro. Let's take a quick time. listen to this beat. Four.
So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's as, as easy as it, it, you know, as it possibly can get. So now when uh, this beat is exported to WAV, when this beat is exported to WAV, and the person that buys the beat imports it into their logic session, um, it's all going to be mapped out for them. So let's just let's just bounce this project. Um, it's all going to be mapped out for them. Hit PCM so, so just, that um, let's just it exports to WAV. Bounce this project. And we just stick this in the <laughs> desktop PCM, down so by that the. Um, it exports to WAV. No, it was down by the and one. We just stick this in the desktop. Wait for it to export. And while we're waiting for that, let's have a little conversation about saying else. How was your day? How was your work day? What do you do for a living? Um, um, how old your missus? How old your daughter? How old your son? Are you getting married yet? Yeah? I am. I'm getting married in um, exactly. How old your missus? How old your daughter? How old your son? Are you getting married yet? I think. I am. I'm getting married. Yes. In 2023. Exactly. Four years. Our oh, missus is gonna love that, Four isn't years. it? Um, Probably. Got to save up about 20 grand for the wedding. We've got yes. the place booked. 2023. We've got the place booked already. Our oh, missus is gonna love that. Um, could be fun. I'm gonna have like, um, what are we gonna have? Obviously, like food trucks there, like street food food could trucks. It's on a big like, old farm, um, uh, just outside Daventry in a in a village called like Evident. It's gonna be a pretty there, cool like day. Food, food I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna get smashed. Uh, I'm gonna marry my, my my other half, and uh, that'll be good. And this track is taking a while to export. Um, it's going to be quite a long part of the video. Um, right, we're going to skip this. Taking a while to export. It's going to be quite a long part of the video. So here we are in a new Logic session, and what I'm going to do is just drag and drop the beat into the session. So uh, I've got that from my desktop. Down by the one. So yeah, here it is. As you can see, it's all mapped out for um, the artist that's going to be recording themselves or the engineer is going to be recording the artist. So now they can just lay down what they need to lay down like that it's as simple as that guys um it, obviously it doesn't take much to just do that at the end of um, um uh, obviously at the end of making your beats and exporting them it's something that's going to bring customers back to you over and over again it's something that's worked quite well for me and enjoy so guys if you like videos like this remember to hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button because if you don't you, you won't get gems, and we all love gems.